Please don't believe me. Hey guys, John here. I just wanted to hop on and uh, talk about this this quote that I saw. Now, this is a quote that's attributed to Buddha, and there are a couple of people who claim it's fake Buddha, but I think it's a beautiful quote, and I'm going to recite it right now for you guys to see. Believe nothing, no matter where you read it or who said it, no matter if I have said it, unless it agrees with your own reason and your own common sense. Buddha. Often I will, you'll hear me say on these, on these videos, you know, I, you know, this is my truth. If it rings true to you, great. If it doesn't ring true, great. It's a matter of you following your own truth. And if it doesn't ring true to you, then it's not for you, right? Believe nothing and no matter what you read, unless it rings true to your own reason or common sense. It comes down to you having the feeling that this is right for you. And if I'm not asking you to take anything I say as fact. I'm, I'm asking you to hear what I'm saying, hear my point of view, and then make your own choices, make your own beliefs. Because as my mom said, the greatest sage in the world, <laughs> said, <laughs> spirituality is a personal journey. You have, to, you have to come to your own belief systems and, and try them out and find out, what well, do they work for you? Mine work tremendously well for me. They, they, they've given me everything in my life in, in, in spades. They've just like over and over and over again, more and more. And it's a matter of realizing that when you, when you find something that works and gives you a loving life and, and, and expresses love back to you, then you've found the purpose of your life because God is love. And when you're expressing love and you're getting love in return, you're living God. You are one with the Father. You are literally experiencing it. And so... In, in the Bible, it says, in my Father's house, there are many mansions. There are many ways to find God. You can find love in Catholicism. You can find love in Buddhism. You can find love in Hinduism. You can find love in atheism. If you have found love, and if you have found how to be a loving person and live a loving life, then you have found God. God is too big to be encompassed by any one, one school of thought, any one religion, or anyone's own personal beliefs, Right? It's, it's, it's their, that's their personal belief. You have to come to your own and follow your own truth and, and experiment. If it doesn't work for you, change. Find a new belief. But it's a matter of you going on that journey and you coming to that space of realizing that you have the ability right in your own discernment to find out what's true for you. And that thing that's true for you is what will, will make your life joyful. It'll make your life happy. It'll make you surrounded by love because you are being the love. You are being God. You are expressing God in the world and God is being expressed back upon you. When you f start finding your own truth and, and start discerning what doesn't feel right to you. If you look at my comments section, I'll, somebody will say something and I, you'll hear me say something like, I respect your beliefs. I completely respect their beliefs because they're on their journey. They're not on mine. When I say I respect your beliefs, it literally is because I do. And, it, and I understand that their journey is different from mine. But I will also say I respect your beliefs, though I disagree. But I'm allowed to disagree, as are you allowed to disagree with me. I think it's, I think it's a beautiful world where we can all still love one another and disagree. Because it, it doesn't matter whether I believe the same as you or you believe the same as me. It just matters that we love one another. Because that was asked, what was asked of us. <laughs> I leave you this one commandment. Love one another. You know, John of, John of old is the only disciple that lived to old age. And in Ephesus, there's the famous story from the Acts and the Gnostic text where he, he's in Ephesus in his very ripe old age. And they ask him, you know, to, to speak, to give the lesson that, that, that Joshua gave. And he says, love one another. And then they said, well, tell us more. Tell us more. He says, I can't tell you anymore until you learn this. Right? I don't care if you're Muslim, Christian, Hindu, Buddhist, Wicca, Baha'i. I, I, don't, I don't care what you are. If you're loving to me, then you found God. And I think you can find God in, in all forms. 
And if your religion is telling you that you can't find it anywhere but in yours, that's not loving. That's not caring. That's vanity. That's power tripping. And it really comes back to the fact too, that I've been to 30 countries around the world. I've had beautiful friendships with Muslims, Hindus, Buddhists. I, I've had beautiful relationships with many, many, many faiths. I have found God in all of them. And that, that really is where it, what it comes down to, is the realization that we find, find God in all of them. And we have to come to our own discernment, use our own common sense and our own reason. Does this work for me? Is this my truth? And you can feel truth when you hear it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh my God. You, know, you get that feeling. And that feeling is your discernment saying, yes, this is, try this. This works for you. And believe no one, even me, unless it agrees with your own reason and your own common sense. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. The John of the New Channel is solely funded by your generous donations and purchases of private readings and merchandise. To help out, go to johnofnew.com or use the donation link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.